Welcome to Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. This is Jim Deadman, and i am just got today's video together for you. So I hope you enjoy what we're doing here in the shop. So pull your chair up virtually beside the computer, your television, whatever you watch these videos on. Sit back and enjoy the video. Greetings, this is Jim, your buddy. And uh, we're starting on the Active Atom speed handle. And this is going to be a couple piece video because I can. <laughs> uh, Lance and Patrick, I'm making this kind of proportionate to your vice size. So with my wrench, your handle, this is what I'm going to do today. This is the handle for my six inch. Since they got a four inch, it needs to be 66% of the tool with seven sixteenths. So this is the finished product that you're going to be seeing me make today. Uh, I took a, I had this uh, shoulder bolt here in stock. It's one of them I picked up. I did change the end to, to uh, 1028. And then I, I decided this for S and G's. Instead of having the aluminum handle, I'm going to give them a Durling handle. And this is some more of my recycled Durling, by the way. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And Lance and Patrick, I'm working on it. I'm waiting on sockets, by the way. And I know you're not in a hurry, so I'm not trying to get in too big a one. But uh, I ordered sockets from Amazon, which is cheap enough. But they was on back order because I'm using quarter-inch drives for this. So I get them, I get them, and I get this board. And then it, so part two will come along when I, I'm doing the bottom of the wrench. I already got the piece cut laying here. So with no further ado, let's... Have a see it at the at, at part one of Active Atom Speed Wrench. Good guess. Okay, we're going to do a little work here. Uh, this is I know uh, I agree to make. Uh, a speed handle. For our friends that would act it out. Well, to do that, it's like everything else, there's a lot of custom work involved here. And one of them is because it's going to be such a small wrench. have to try to make me a small wrench. Well, let's remember what I need to do with this. I'm going to do it this way. Excuse me just a second. Let me get a couple of things. A little John Mills action here. Uh, I'm going to redo this. This, this uh, shoulder bolt is, is just about the right length of what we need to make the uh, uh, wrench that we need so instead of trying to cut it off and it's not a hickey setup we'll just do what i'm going to do here is i'm going to face this sucker off and we're going to drill it out and we're going to lock tight us a screw in it that we need to do this with there's a little run out in it i know it's not the best i can do but We're just going to we're going to drill it just like this. We're going to put a 1032 screw in it. So let me get my stuff for my 1032. One I don't want to use. See, I, I, what I've done is I've never made one. I'm and, a, and I'm waiting on parts too. By the way, uh, I decided to order the sockets. From Amazon. And so they're going to be here. It's going to be a while before I get them because they're on back order. I, mean, I could have went to the parts house, but this is not a rush order because they're still working on their Barker meal. So. 
So we're just going to drill this out. What I'm going to do is we're just going to put a screw in it, Loctite it with green Loctite and uh, polish it up. And then we'll have a short screw like we need to make the handle out of. I got my little live center in there. And I'm just going to use it as a tap guy. In fact, I really got to where I like that little live center. I just take my hand and press against it. And I thought about making me one something like uh, one of my subscribers and viewers. He had recently made him a couple. Uh, one of my subscribers had just started the channel there. In case you haven't went and seen it, uh, put Anthony Brown in your video and look him up. He's one of my viewers. Just started a YouTube channel down in Alabama. And uh, he's been a loyal viewer and subscriber of mine and a commenter to my videos fairly regular. And he's trying to start him a channel, so let's give him some love. And uh, we got enough in there, I think, now that I ain't going to worry about it being crooked. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drill tap this sucker here out. I'll polish it just a little bit so it'll be slick. This is a used screw, by the way. It's out of my screw bin. Uh, so, another thing that I mentioned about used stuff and screws and recycling. Uh, I received a letter today from um, Everett in Everett's workshop. Uh, I sent him some pictures of my work stop. His king lathe is a lot similar to the Grizzlies. And I sent him a picture of how I made mine. You know, I actually found the pictures on the phone. Actually, I was sending it to a couple of other people. And I just thought of Everett while I was at it and sent it to him. So, uh, he uh, emailed me back with some things. If you don't watch Everett's workshop in up in Canada, you need to be doing that too. But Everett was talking about sending me some more drills, some cobalts, and recycling. And told me he hated seeing stuff thrown out and he worked at the Dodge dealership. And I, I kind of the same way, and that's where some of these screws and stuff come from, from when I, my career at Eaton. A lot of this stuff was just stowed, maintenance people throw it out. And I just collected it. And, uh, so people, and it might be asked, why I go through this trouble? Well, here's why. I mean, I, you know, again, I think I've said this a hundred times in my videos, and it bears repeating. You know, this is a home shop, and this is a hobby. Just like this channel I'm working on today. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I got it as close as I humanly possible without doing some really elaborate setups. And all this is going to do is hold a speed handle. So it doesn't have to be god awful perfect. But like I say, and then it's just a standard, you know, screw. And like, like I said, why throw away stuff? I can put a little bit of time in it. You know, now if I was in the business of making product, yes sir. We would go order the right screws and all that stuff. I'm going to polish this up so it don't look so bad even though you won't see it. Inside of the wrench. Get all the little, you know, all the little stuff off of it. A little bit scarred. So now all I got to do is put a 1032 screw in it and lock tight it. You know, I've just decided I'm going to do something different with this wrench. Every one of these I've made, I've made them out of uh, aluminum. I'm going to make theirs out of darling just because it's different. 
give it a little tra uh, uh, a handle. So I'm gonna get the handle made here today. Okay. You might ask why not ream it? Well, here's why we're not gonna ream it. Give you a simple answer in a quick way. Okay. Uh, so we need to drill it about right there a little deeper. So we're gonna face it and everything else. So simple. All we need is a, and this, you know, this is spin. And so why we want to and again I'm using some you know, I'm besides this is just on the fly. We're doing something a little bit different than I normally do. And we'll pull this out and put it between the centers and turn it to an O D and put a little taper on it and all this stuff here in a minute. So we're gonna make this I'm I'm kinda of working on percentages, so this should that is not gonna work as good as I anticipated. It's a little tight. Let me have to step it up or let me just run the drill back through it, see if it loosen up. I'll have to pull a little bigger. That's just too tight for what we need. Let me just drill it one size bigger. Be happy. And that fits a lot better. Okay. Now we'll true it up. Figure out how to counterboard. I broke out my little bar here. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work on this darling, but we're going to give it a shot. We, this, is that, this is that one that I got. I've had a while. It's butchered up. It's not very rigid. We're going to go in there and we're going to boil this out. For the part, uh, and see how much we got to go good bit. Let me get my measuring device out there. And it's just a few quick steps to do this. <sighs> okay, we only need about 50 thou right now. I'm going to go check it again. This ain't got to be a precise bore like that. It, it, we need probably four or five thousand slap that slop in it just to allow for these screws to float float around a little bit. So you want this to float just a hair bit. See that's just that's starting now. So five or ten thousand would be good, gracious cleaning. The only reason I'm starting to use Durley is because I want something different. That could use a little bit of depth to it. We'll have to make it just a bit deeper. I don't know. I might just leave that screw up a little bit just for looks. What you think? I think we will. Just to be different. Okay, we're going to turn the OD down. I'm going to, I'm going to turn the OD down to about 700. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller than 
than the others because again it's trying to reduce all the sizes proportionally. Let me stop and change directions. I forgot I was back going. I'm not going to take much off of this. And by the way, uh, this is a piece of that recycled early that I did a few videos ago where I had it laying on my workbench where I trimmed it up. So. I just decided, yeah, it's going to be plenty long. Uh, I just decided I was going to use, and I just decided to use Darling because I made all these handles out of aluminum. And I just wanted something different for Lance and Patrick than the standard, what, you know, I, everybody's speed handles are aluminum. And I decided, even my own, and I decided to make them out of plastic. Now, darling, just because it's different, it looks different, so. So, we're working on getting it turned down, and I'll, uh, I'll bring you back now, get down to the final size. I already got it down to a size and I'm just kind of, I'm doing this more by eye of what this looks good, so. And sometimes you want to just do stuff by how it looks instead of really anything else, so. So, so we want to get us a, I'm going to get a, tool here cut that a little bit. There we go, we're just gonna whack her off. Okay, I'm set up now. I'm gonna put something like about a four degree chamfer on this. There's no real set fixture, just kind of what looks good. So we're gonna just cut about four degrees. Just enough to give it a little bit of taper. Okay, it's not gonna take much. All right, we come back this time. That'll be about it. One more pass, about 20 thousandths, and we'll slow it down and not run up through those quick. Being good and have a, a nice finished look to it. That's going to be it right there. Okay, guys, this is the finished handle. So uh, we'll see how they like this. This is I might just call this part one when I so that it's done. So this will be the handle and. Uh, Lance and Patrick, I decided to make the handle out of Darlin instead of aluminum just to be different. So you're going to really have a one-of-a-kind wrench. <laughs> That's today's video of the project that I did. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember, this is a copyright production of James Deadman Saw Logs Plastic Hubs for your enjoyment here on YouTube. Also, you know, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing to subscribe. And while you're at it, if you have other friends that like to watch machine videos or an old guy out playing in the shop, how about jumping in and tell them, hey, come over to the channel and give us a try. I really would appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for the ones who comment. They're always welcome. And again, we will see you in the next video. Have a great day, and like I say, thanks for watching again.